Hello guys, got a cool, super cool video coming up for you. It's on uh, building a carburetor. It ain't a how to build a carburetor. This is going to be more like a little video series of me turning this old power junk, which is this, come from a school bus. But it's kind of hidden gold because it's got dual metering blocks. It's a vacuum secondary. And uh, it's pretty awesome. So, as you can see, it's got a big, ugly base plate. Well, let me just get a close up of it. Okay, part one of building this carburetor, I guess, building a carburetor basically for the Trans Am. What we got here is a pretty cool looking little carburetor. You can see it come from a school bus, and that's why it's got always shit that it does not need. I actually think one of that's a wave limiter. Because this came off of a 366 big block in a school bus. Basically I got it just for the you know uh, this section. Because we won't be using this base plate. Well we could take everything off this base plate and gut it. But I think I'd be better off just Ditching the whole base plate. So, that's what this video is going to be about. Part 1 on building a carburetor. Disassembly? Why? Wow, sure. Let's go ahead and get rid of this base plate. So, I'm going to jerk this base plate off. What we're going to need is a handy dandy four way. And there's six bolts. One here, one here. They more than six on this. Usually, people don't even put bolts back in these. But by God, we got them. Wow. It's amazing. I'm shocked. Because usually you get boat here, boat here, boat here, boat here, boat here, boat here, and none here. That's cool board I we built. They didn't even have two boats here. Somebody left them out. Okay. That's that's pretty neat. Okay, guys. Here's the cool board. We got the base plate off of it. Already works 110% better. I don't know exactly which way we're going to go on the build of this, but I'm sure it's going to be a very fun video series. Right here's the old base plate that come off of it. Good God almighty, it sure didn't need none of that. Sure then. Well, we ain't going to use none of that. Basically, this is the main thing we wanted. We got metering box here on the wheel. Metering box here on the front. We got this. And then we got... This vacuum point right here. Sound like it's good too? Kind of cool. And got a little diaphragm right here. Added vacuum. I doubt we would be even using that. Probably change that. Yeah, probably change all that. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Look, we ain't got no idle mixture in that side. I wonder if that's completely gone or if it's on the school bus. It just didn't come with any. I can't really tell. Be something we have to further investigate in an upcoming video on that. Okay, guys, that's pretty much part one of this video series of building. A contraption carburetor for the Trans Am, basically. Just something to goof off with. We might go on something else besides Trans Am. But I figured it'd be a fun little video series. Maybe you can pick you up an old cheap carburetor or find it in an old bone yard or a savage yard. And Hey, I bring it home and build that. Because you can buy about anything you want to for these old carburetors. This one, we might even grind the choke horn down. You know polish up and all that good stuff make it look like a actual competition correlator and it helps with airflow because you get rid of that choke horn which is a big air restriction but on a daily yeah, it's a little iffy but it's always been iffy so i hope you guys enjoy this video and uh check out my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss part two and find out what all we do to this now, go ahead, hit that subscribe button.
Bye-bye now.